there's far too much detail in my logo to fit on the end of there so I've made a simplified design I think it looks great and hopefully as long as this works it should look quite cool this bigger one here you can probably see the design better it's been mirrored because that's what we need to do for a stamp but this little one here is the one I'm going to use so the first thing I need to do is put the center part of the design and file that onto the end of here and then I may put a box around it by welding bars to the outside and then shaping those afterwards but first of all I'll see how good this center part looks Now I'm going to file the shoulders onto the end, ready to weld the pieces on to make up the box. I could have done this on the belt grinder, but I don't trust myself, so I'm doing it with a file. I'm checking regularly, and hopefully I get it just right. I've got these off cuts of 1075 steel from when I've made knives. I'm going to weld two of them to opposite faces, then I'll file those down to the correct position and weld the last two on afterwards. I have no idea if this is going to work. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just giving it a go. I just messed that up. I welded far too close to the end and I knew I had to keep away from the end but I wasn't thinking straight. I am fighting a cold, you can probably hear it in my voice, but no excuses, I messed it up and I'm gonna do it again. Luckily, it didn't actually take that long to make, so I'll chop it off, redo it and have another go at it and pay more attention next time. Before I do it though, I'm just gonna grind these off and have a look, see how it prints into a bit of leather. That looks promising, but as I'm remaking it, I'll take the opportunity to tweak the design. I've reduced the number of teeth on the saw blade and that is a saw blade if you didn't realize that and I've skewed it a little bit to add a bit more negative space just to have a bit more impact. The file's struggling to cut through that so I'm going to go to the belt grinder and I'll just take it easy and not get carried away.
Now I'm going to mount it to a piece of one inch mild steel bar. This way it can be used handheld, but I'll mainly be using it with my fly press. And I've used the one inch bar because that will fit straight into my fly press. I'm just using my blow torches to harden and temper it and it should work out fine. I'm heating it until it's a cherry red, then quenching it with vegetable oil. I'm cleaning it up here so I'll be able to see the temper colours. The aim is to stop when the tip of the touch mark is a straw colour. I wasn't sure I liked the square border so I showed the before and after on Instagram. I got heaps of feedback and it seemed pretty even with or without it. It was also mentioned to make an inverse which is something I thought about but dismissed it as I thought it would be too difficult to do. I then rethought that and realised I could make it out of two halves and weld them together so I went ahead and made one of those. After I made the two halves and welded them together, I went through the same procedures before. I just welded it to a piece of one inch bar before hardening it. And I also made a simple one without the square border. So now I have three different designs which will allow me to choose the most fitting for each project. I tested them with a piece of leather, but now I'm going to try it out with some hot steel. I need to get my fly press set up on a stand or bench, but for now I've got it set up on the floor and to stop it from twisting I've got these two braces, one against the workbench and the other one against the stairs. I will get the fly press set up next to my proper forge, but for now I'm just going to use my little cam forge, better known as Fergus the Forge Pig. I think a couple of those got pressed in a bit too far and because of that they're not as defined as what they could have been so I need to pay more attention setting up the fly press but it looks promising and I'll keep having to play with them. Hopefully that was useful to somebody and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.